in Alaska's remote White Mountains. All right, nice big male Martin. Marty's first catch of the season is already on the line after just a few hours. This is kind of nice because I just made this set. It's always a good feeling to make a set and catch him the first time you check it. Beautiful. It's a promising sign that the fallow trap line may have bounced back and that the land will provide for the future. This is one of my favorite spots on the whole trap line. You can see a big chunk of God's creation from up here. And the neat thing is, in 30 years, I'm the only human that's been in here. You stand in a place like this and you think, man, I can, if I could get a trail cut in up that valley, just go see the new country. Trap country that's never been trapped, probably. See things nobody else has ever seen. That's why I do this. God did all right when he built this country and put Martin in it. It's good trapping weather in Alaska's White Mountains. Marty's racing to complete an epic mission to clear and run all 150 miles of his original line. But only 25 miles in, there are signs of trouble a wolverine and he went in that way i'm gonna make a cubby for wolverine because there's wolverine sign around and they'll be back it's not the first time marty's tangled with a wolverine four years ago a voracious predator plundered his line in the revelations costing hundreds of dollars in damage now trying to rebound from his worst season ever marty can't afford a repeat i'm gonna use the base of this spruce right here and build my cubby. Marty's only hope for protecting the viability of his line is to eliminate the threat. Like any trap, you want to get the animal to get to the bait, he has to go into the trap. So basically, you've got something they want, and there's only one way to get to it. Stopping a 50-pound animal requires a heavy-duty trap. I want to take my 330. So the way that with 330 works is the animal hits the trigger, which is this, and then these springs close the trap and it snaps on them. I'm going to set it, tap it down so it's good and tight. There. This line, it's really important to me, it's successful. So getting the line set is a huge job, and the, the sooner you get the trail broke out and set, the sooner you start catching fur. Wow, it's different. This is all ripped off by fire. Marty's future earnings depend on whether he can protect the line he first opened more than three decades ago. When I first came up here many years ago, this was just all green spruce forest. And though fur prices rise and fall, the land always has potential. This to be a good producing line at this fringe of the burn once the fire comes through, rips through it, and then grasses start coming up, and the voles and lemmings move in there and eat those, and then that's what the martin feed on, so then the martin come in, and that's good for me as far as trapping goes. We gotta keep moving. Light's fading. 